Assalamu alaikum. Welcome to my channel. Don't forget to subscribe and ring that bell so you can get my videos notifications all the time. Things are going to get really crazy here. I know I'm going to have a big channel. I got a lot of information that I can give you guys. But today we're going to talk about Prophet Muhammad in the Bible. It was a request on Facebook by him. Let's get into it. The time has come for Christians and Muslims to make peace between our communities. Christians and Muslims already make more than half of the global population. These numbers are expected to grow in the coming decades. According to the Pew Research Center, by 2050, two-thirds of humanity, some 5.7 billion people, will be either Christian or Muslim. This is a problem. You ask why? Our planet simply cannot afford another century of misunderstanding and violence between these two communities. Now is the time to transform the way Christians and Muslims see and relate to each other. The majority of Christians still maintain a fundamental Islamic phobic position on the Prophet Muhammad. Peace may be upon him. So, I believe that the time has come for peacemaking Christians to contradict this position directly, changing the view of Muhammad, peace be upon him, so that you recognize him as a true prophet rather than discredit him as a false prophet, would effectively inaccurate Christians against Islamic phobia and would help to establish a new paradigm of cooperative Christians Muslims relation. In Jesus farewell disclosure in the Gospel of John chapters 14 to 16. Jesus speaks about the coming of the Spirit of Truth. In Greek, Parakletos, for centuries, Muslim interpreters have seen Muhammad, peace be upon him, as this advocate based on the Quran. A verse in which Jesus predicts the coming of a future prophet named Ahmed O children of Israel truly I am the messenger of God unto you confirming that which came before me and the Torah and bearing glad tidings of a messenger to come after me whose name is Ahmed. Ahmed, which is another name for Muhammad, is very close to the Greek word Parakletos. So it is likely that the Quran is claiming that Jesus, farewell disclosure, and the Gospel of John 
predicts Muhammad, peace be upon him. The Gospel of John is the latest canonical version of the Gospel. It was written at least a generation after the Synoptic Gospel and probably two generations or more after Paul's letters. The author of the Gospel of John, often called the beloved disciple, claims to be the last living witness to the resurrection of Jesus Christ. The Gospel of John plays a similar role for the New Testament as Deuteronomy does for the Torah. Deuteronomy is the latest text of the Torah. It reiterates the laws of Moses as told in the four earlier books and like the Gospel of John, it predicts a future prophet. I will raise up for them a prophet like you from among their own people. I will put my words in the mouth of the prophet who shall speak to them everything that I command. Both Deuteronomy and the Gospel of John are reflections on specific revelations, the Torah and the Gospel, and both indicate that there is more revelations to come. The Gospel of John's language for the Spirit of Truth or Advocate is strikingly similar to Deuteronomy. He will not speak on his own, but he will speak whatever he hears, and he will declare to you the things that are to come. Like Deuteronomy, the Gospel of John opens up an expectation for the future revelation. John's prophecy is not so specific that it must apply to Muhammad, peace be upon him, and only Muhammad. But in so far as the Holy Quran makes the claim that Muhammad, peace be upon him, is the spirit of truth or advocate that Jesus foretold a strong interpretive option uh, emerges for Christians to receive Muhammad, peace be upon him, as a prophet that Jesus predicts when he says, I have many things to say to you, but you cannot bear them now the spirit of truth comes. He will guide you into all the truth, for he will not speak on his own, but he will speak whatever he hears, and he will declare to you the things that are to come. He will glorify me because he will take what is mine and declare it to you. All that the Father has is mine. For this reason I said that he will take what is mine 
and declare to you when we look at Islam as a world religion and see that 1.6 billion people growing are following the way of Muhammad peace be upon him the time has surely come to recognize him as a prophet if Muhammad peace be upon him is not a prophet then who is it that's the big question it is understandably really that so many Christians have been defensive and have reacted negatively to Islam that kind of group ego fear based response is part of human nature however it is absurd for you to continue to see Muhammad peace be upon him as a false prophet given that Islam has lasted over 1400 years and has supported monumental cultures spiritual artistic political morals and intellectual achievements and has tremendous and vibrant global following there is no better candidate than Muhammad peace be upon him no one in fact that comes even uh, close in terms of fulfilling Jesus promise of the spirit of the truth who would bring forth a new revelation from God 